so hello this is my Robo 45 VP30 pump and now inside nothing looks really damaged worn or anything or is in perfect condition as we see here and even the mesh filter here above the top of the head the, it is clear inside there is no debris or anything and now if we look uh, on the piston I mean the plunger then on top we see here some marks and also on the side of one filling groove there is a mark and for now this is really the only part that where I see some uh, worn marks the, or the head inside the pump one looks mint and, and nice also the solenoid could be the issue and here we have some pictures how it looks inside the complete here is the head again perfect condition as you see here is the complete no marks on the rolls or anything the other angle of the complete also perfect condition and now let's have a look into my other VP30 pump that was for a perfectly fine working car that had no power issues and here also the head looks mint and perfect and what is interesting the plunger has the same marking spots here on the top and also down there next to the filling groove there's the same marks in the same position as my Roll 45 plunger and I also have a plunger from uh, first generation VP30 pump then it interestingly has also the same marks on the top and also next to the filling groove and I really start to believe that the power issue is not mechanically internal on the parts but I suspect are the electronic boards in, in the PSG unit on the top of the pump then rather any other components, maybe only the solenoids could make a difference and we will test it by swapping over the heads from the perfectly fine working pump that had no power issues into my pump because I have no special tool to just swap over the solenoids instead of the complete head next we test a few quantities solenoid on the head with a bulb as a load to hear how fast it responds and strangely can repeat this quickly again you have to have a few seconds between each test because nothing happened otherwise you hear no clicking on a fast second attempt and now we make a test also with the bulb as a load on the other fuel quantity solenoid Now let's make a test without a load on my Roller 45 fuel quantity solenoid fit feed it directly to my 12 volt battery. Hmm, the wire is getting hot, but it is normal on 40 amps. But without a lot we hear that the solenoid response is much faster. And the same test on the other solenoid. And again the wire is getting hot. Next let's make a quick comparison between them both. And the last strange thing that I found out is that in on my pump there were two KF shims on the guiding pins for the springs, which is not the correct way when you rebuild the pump stated by Bosch in the their data sheet.
and in the other pump there is only one KF shim on the spring guiding pin and by measuring the KF shim thickness in my pump there was double the, the shim thickness and again thanks for watching see you guys